I'm over at Crooked Creek um, visiting with Jim. He's going to talk to you about what he thinks about the bow. This is still set up mostly for me, but again, it was 74 pounds, and um, we decided to go ahead and um, put the um, limb stops on, and it made a little, really nice solid back wall, super solid. Anyway, Jim, take it away. Actually, the arrows are real close to each other, aren't they? Yeah. We haven't really sighted the bow in at all, but they're touching. The back wall's phenomenal. Um, there's absolutely no movement on the back of that at all. It's got a pretty nice valley. I actually feel like I kind of got to push the about got to push the string forward to get it to shoot. Um, so no complaints on either one of those. I think probably the only thing that I complain about a little bit is I think the grip is kind of fat. Uh, it feels kind of like I got a handful of something there that I'm not used to really having. I like a thinner grip on a bow, and that's a pretty beefy one. Um, the draw cycle on it, I don't feel like it was, I don't feel like I was pulling 74 pounds. Uh, I wouldn't have any complaints on that one at all. So, I'd be interested to see what it actually does through a chronograph. But, yeah. Um, um, very nope. nice bow, very yeah. nice looking bow. Do you want to shoot through your chrono? Or should, I can give you an idea of what we did the other day, but we were hitting about um, this 301 feet per second with a 380 grain arrow. Does that sound about right? I believe that was what it was. Nice bow. Yep. Very nice bow. I would not have any qualms about taking that out and killing deer with it. Thanks, Jim.